Hello friends, Tal here, and welcome to the Legion Pre-Patch Survival Guide Guardian Druid Edition. Yes, the big old bear. We're going to be talking about what's changed with them, what you need to know to go ahead and get through your pre-patch day, and move along towards the Legion launch on August 30th. And we have confirmation that the pre-patch is on the 19th, so it's important to go ahead and know what you need to know to get through this. Uh, so most important thing is what has changed with the guardian druid and honestly the biggest thing is they've been brought into the present day honestly as much as a lot of people have liked the guardian druid their design has been antiquated for a very long time to the point that it necessitated big big buffs and changes in legion to actually make them even vi not in legion but um in hellfire citadel to even make them viable for the fights there and those small changes made them really strong and they're just getting even stronger here in the expansion so we're going to go ahead and talk about what's changed right now it's basically just your active mitigation the way that it works has changed and some spells have been condensed and put together to make things more streamlined. That's all that's really been changed. There's no different resource. There's no special thing that you have to watch for. It's just been refreshed. So you have Mangle that you're going to be wanting to use on cooldown because it's going to generate your rage. You have Swipe as your no cooldown AoE spam filler. You have Iron Fur as your new active mitigation. What this does is going to massively increase your armor for a short time. Now, as long as you have the rage for this, you can keep using Iron Fur. So you can have like a two or three stack Iron Fur and it increases your armor by a bunch. And it's like a rolling... Uh, a rolling buff. So if you use it, if you use two of them one after the other, you have however many seconds of double iron fur but if you use one iron fur then you wait three seconds then you use another iron fur you have a couple seconds of double iron fur and then go back into the one into the last few seconds of a single iron fur that's the best way for me to really describe it you guys will get a better idea of that when you actually see it being played and used overall fantastic active mitigation it gives you some survivability but in a manner that is unique to the bear. You still have Frenzied Regeneration, uh, but it's important to note that Frenzied Regeneration, along with many other tank abilities uh, for all the different classes, it relies heavily on your artifact weapon, your artifact traits. You do not have access to this in the Legion pre-patch. You do not have that. This fucking fantastic bear form, you won't have this bear form. So keep in mind that Frenzied Regen, I'm not sure how it's going to play out with level 100, um, you know, mythic geared stats and everything, but some Suffice to say, Frenzied Region is shit without the artifact traits, without the extra healing and everything else. So you really cannot rely on this in the pre-patch. I wouldn't say um, this is a heal, yes, and it actually works similar to Death Strike, and that's going to heal you for the portion of the damage you've taken. But it's nowhere near as strong as it's meant to be. Just keep that in mind. Balance is an overall thing. You don't have access to artifact traits yet. Thrash is something that's going to be doing... Uh, it's basically your rotational ability. It's a combination from Lacerate, so it's going to be applying a dot as well. It's going to hit everything around you. Has a couple second cooldown. Gives you some rage. Um, you can actually see right here, it's going to generate you 4 rage, it's going to put a bleed on everything, it's going to be reduced by haste, it's your big rotational ability. And then you still have Bark Sting, which is going to reduce all damage taken for a short time, it's your shorter cooldown, and it's going to be available to you. Something to keep in mind is that Guardian Druids, um, while they have changed, they still have access to a lot of their cooldowns, a lot of the things they've always had access to, but they're just better. So we're going to go ahead and get to the mechanics of the class now. So what's important to know is that you will have access to Thrash, of course, which you're going to be using on cooldown. Look at that. looks fucking glorious. Mango, which you're also going to be using on cooldown because it's going to be giving you more rage. You have your Iron Fur, your Frenzied Region, and your Mark Reversal, which is going to use up your rage. Now, if you notice, Frenzied Region has a recharge system. It's going to cost 10 rage, not that much, but it's going to heal you for 50% of all damage taken in the last 5 seconds over 3 seconds. This actually doesn't turn out to be too much healing. It's been buffed like 3 times over the course of the beta because of how much more healing needs to happen, but you should know that when you have the artifact traits, this is going to pack a punch. Iron Fur, you can see here, is going to cost 45 Rage. It's going to increase your armor by 75% for 6 seconds. Multiple uses can overlap. And Mark Reversal is your magic damage reduction. 45 Rage, 0.5 second cooldown. Doesn't actually have a cooldown, essentially. And reduces your magical damage taken by 30%. Not too much fanfare, not too much complex complexity to that. But, you know, it's 30% less magic damage, and you can just keep popping it. What's to complain? Now, you still have access to things like Skull Bash, so that's your interrupt, and a sort of wonky charge um you do have access to maul but the problem with maul and this is specifically legion again i don't know how the values are going to be for level 100 mythic hfc stats and all that other stuff um maul doesn't even feel worth pressing it doesn't the damage it does is p is pitiful 
Um, it has a cooldown for some strange reason, even though it's your rage dump. But most of the time, you're just better off doing something else. You'd rather use that rage on Iron Fur and then just spam Moonfire, which, yes, as a bear, you have access to Moonfire. It is your single target filler and your ranged puller. Basically, if it's AoE, you swipe. If it's single target, you Moonfire. Done deal. You still have access uh, to a lot of the talents that you've had in the past. Uh, as well, I do want to point out Bark Skin still exists, Survival Instinct still exists. Um, let's see, what else is specifically going to be available? You still have access to Stampeding War. Only you and Feral Druids have access to that. Uh, and Rage of the Sleeper, of course, you don't because you don't have the artifact weapon. Uh, so basically, the mechanics of the class are that you just use up your Rage on Iron Fur, Mark Reversal, depending on what type of encounter you're facing, Frenzied Region to get yourself a little bit of healing, but you Thrash and you Mangle on cooldown. You fill with Moonfire or Swipe, depending on what's going on. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the talents. So as far as any changes for the talents, um, there are a couple of you know big things that have changed. P things have switched positions. You obviously can see pulverizes down here, and it's only going to require two stacks of your thrash. Thrash is essentially lacerate and thrash mixed together. Remember that. Um, but overall, I mean, the biggest thing that I would say here, you obviously want to read all of these changes, uh, specifically things like Galactic Guardian, which it's going to give you a proc on Moonfire, giving you more rage. Your CC tier basically hasn't changed. Uh, your kind of speed tier or movement tier has changed in the sense that Gutter or Roar Roars is going to increase the radius of Stampeding Roar and reduce the cooldown of it. You kind of need that in certain raid fights, you know. Uh, but the biggest thing that I would say about the talent changes is the affinities. You have access to a Balance, a Feral, and a Resto Affinity, and only when you spec into one of these do you get the spells for that affinity. This does give you the ability to go into a little bit of a healing mode as well as a passive, do a little bit of melee DPS as well as a passive move speed buff, and do a little bit of range DPS as well as a range increase on your abilities. Um, their use is going to be situational. It is a very situational tier. If you just want to be, you know, just healing yourself, healing your allies, you go ahead and go resto. But otherwise, you want to look for good situations to use the other affinities. But that's the biggest thing of note that I can say about the talents. Please, guys, read all your talents. Read the ways that the different spells work. Um, the other thing that I think is important to say is that there is a big change to your mastery so what is mastery going to do mm -hmm. mastery is going to increase your maximum health and the healing that you receive by whatever percent that your mastery is it's a very very big thing you are the meat shield tank you take more damage than other people but you have more health to compensate and you receive more healing because of it i'm not lying when i say guardian druids are very 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 powerful so just keep that in mind you're no longer the dodge tank that hold that you know the elusive bear that's that whole joke is gone and i'm glad for it and keep in mind guys Glyphs are gone. I've said this in the Blood Decay video. I'm going to say it here again. Please, please, please make sure that you pay attention to the fact that your glyphs are gone. So if a spell was acting a certain way before in the past because of a glyph and you've just had that glyph on since, you know, freaking Missa Pandaria, keep in mind that that is gone now. Glyphs are going to be applied to spells. You can apply as many glyphs as you want, but not more than one glyph to a particular spell. So keep that in mind. I don't have a list of what the glyphs are. They're mostly cosmetic. But just keep in mind your spells might change a little bit if you're not using the same glyphs anymore because they don't exist. Beyond that, the only other thing to say is what has changed with your loot. So there's going to be a very good possibility that your tier set bonuses, your trinkets, that kind of stuff has changed. So let's go ahead and just go into here. And the first thing of note is as soon as I find it, there we go. So your tier set bonus. Your two set is Iron Fur also increases heals done to you by 20% while active, and you basically have Iron Fur up all the time, and your mastery is already giving you extra healing. That scared the shit out of me, just gonna go ahead and say that. Um, but already you can see that the two set is a very powerful bonus to you. The four set is while Iron Fur is active, the cost of frenzied regeneration is reduced by 50%. Now that one is probably kind of pointless. I mean, it only costs 10 rage already. You are actually not super rage starved, to be completely honest, but reducing your frenzied regeneration rage cost by 50% so it's going to be 5 rage I mean it already doesn't really heal for all that much um, you could probably skip the force it honestly but if you already have it you don't feel like switching you're lazy it's, it's a nice little bonus I wouldn't count too much into it I wouldn't look into it too much the other thing to know is that bonus armor is gone your trinkets your neck your ring 
all that kind of stuff will not have bonus armor on it. So please, please, please keep that in mind. Don't like freak out and think you have the wrong gear on. Uh, things are going to have different values. If you see here, the one that most people have, the Archimon, uh, Archimon neck, is going to have versatility mastery, with a heavier emphasis on the versatility. Um, it's just something important to keep in mind that that has changed. Cloaks don't even have it anymore. Uh, and the last thing to note here, as far as gear that you're probably likely to have, is your trinkets. So remember, trinkets do not have bonus armor anymore. Angie's Curse Plume is going to give you a versatility uh, stat boost, along with still the mastery proc. The I just realized I'm not even looking at specifically Guardian. Look at that. The trinket off Cormorock is a versatility mastery boost. Your seed of creation, your class trinket, it's going to make all damage received reduced by some amount. All damage prevented this way is dealt back to the attacker's nature damage and this effect cannot absorb more than 90% of an attack. Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea if that's good or bad for Guardian Druids. I remember that everything I know about Guardian Druids is pretty much from, from Legion and the little bit that I played with them in WAD. I didn't like the Guardian Druid very much so I'm not completely caught up on how good the Seed of Creation is but this is how it is now. I don't know if that's the same as in WAD but keep that in mind. Tyrant's Decree is going to give you a mastery boost as well as still the stacking stamina and Warlord's Unseeing Eye is still going to be giving you a haste buff along with reducing the damage that you take. Alright, so with all that being said, uh, the last thing of note that you should know about is your stats. Basically, once the pre-patch hits, your stats boil down to mastery, 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 and then after that, a mix between haste and versatility, and then crit being at the bottom end. Crit is actually not very good for defense as a defensive value anymore. I'm not sure how it is offensively anymore. Uh, but the other thing I want to go ahead and point out is that there have been murmurs. Basically, people that are doing a lot of things over in simulation craft have been discovering that versatility has had a big boost in value for the tanks. Apparently because of all the extra magic damage that there is in Legion, because of the way that the values have sort of changed, versatility is looking like it might be the king tank stat. But specifically for Guardian Druids, mastery has proven to be fantastic. I already, already told you guys how it had changed. It's going to be increasing your maximum health and maximum healing that you receive. So you can see here why it's so valuable, why it's so good. But there we go, we went over what's changed, we went over the mechanic, the way that the class actually plays. Just keep in mind that you're using your abilities on rotation, you have two different fillers depending on what type of fight you're fighting, and you have your big cooldown, two charges, your shorter cooldown, and you have your active mitigation specific to what kind of damage you are taking. That's basically all you really need to know. We covered talents, we covered stats. There you go guys, that is your Guardian Druid. Pre Legion Pre-Patch Survival Guide. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and I hope you all have a fantastic, wonderful day. I appreciate all of you greatly.